Yeah, this food forest has started eight years ago with uh, three different uh, experiments. One with avocado, another one with banana, thirdly with a mango, and you can see the result. Like, I find out that for all these uh, friendly fruit trees, they do very, very well with the coffee because both of them lit us a lot of uh, biomass. And coffee needs biomass and coffee needs shade because coffee is a forest tree. I was doing an experiment to see the how avocado and climbing bean, which is nitrogen fixing, will work together. And I was amazed because, as you can see, look at how green the, and no disease. See, this one is, within a month I will be picking this coffee. And it's, this is its natural environment. Coffee is a forest tree. When it was discovered in Ethiopia many years ago, it was discovered in the forest. And that, so when you create a, a forest-like environment where there's climbers and also tall trees, that is the best place for coffee. When you're outside, it's like you're sweating. But now it's like we, we are creating in a forest what you call macroclimate. So here, pumpkin is the first layer in a a food forest system of seven layers and it's all complement each other because pumpkin is impeding the weeds from growth and also pumpkin is getting a lot of nutrients from the droppings of the leaves of avocado and also of the bananas and everything and you can see the feeder roots getting the you know direct nutrients from from the, the ground floor and you can see there's no weeding here you go you all you see is mulch mulch and this one is as a result of avocado dropping a lot of leaves. The first scenery was coffee and avocado next to each other. Now you have banana and coffee. And you can see how green the coffee is. But it's, it does the same thing with the potassium. <clears throat> the banana shades the leaves which is very rich in potassium and then uh, we, we put we chop and drop and then the microorganism and the fungi does the, the work of turning it into <coughs> very very good soil from my experience and from my readings i found out that coffee is one of the most sprayed with very very bad chemicals and it's uh, it's damaging the chemicals are damaging like the the bees avocado industry because normally, like when you find a farmer spraying coffee, the spray goes all, all, also to the other trees like mangoes and, uh, and uh, avocado and bananas. So it's uh, making a lot of uh, environmental damages. And it doesn't have to be that way. The solution is very simple. Make coffee grow in a natural way in a food forest like so that you can get very good coffee without harming the environment, without harming the people. And it's, uh, you, we are just poisoning ourselves, you know, trying to consume so much coffee, which is produced with so much chemicals.